Hello everybody, um, hope you're all well. In case you've not come from the app, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to use the TDS video app. Um, that's test flight, let's go to test flight. That's this application, allows you to watch like videos on your screen. Um, something I've built, it's quite simple but complex, people struggle with the app. So you get the app, you get the application on here, perfect. So let's open the application, I'll talk you through all the steps. So there's a help section where I've tried to explain all the steps. Some people still struggle, so here's a video. Um, so the main key option is screen mirroring. This allows you to put the content to your phone screen on here. So if you open the car video app, like this, then you go onto the phone, you swipe down. This is actually in the screen recording section scroll down you find the application you click start broadcasting this hopefully that doesn't appear to have started the broadcast okay we'll close the application down i'll open it again stop the broadcast do that There we go. Oh, it's thinking about it. Sometimes there's a bit of a lag. Sometimes there's a few issues. There's the occasional problem, but you get the idea. That's how that works. Um, let me talk you through the settings you've now got. Now that we're screen mirroring, you've got settings. So you've got orientation settings up here, whether you want it up, that puts it up, down, left, right, up mirrored etc etc i'm gonna go with actually let's go up for now if you're in the up orientation you might get this you can use this button if you're seeing this bar that gets rid of the bar actually correction it puts the bar on the other side it's supposed to be behind this then you might want to do scale to fit aspect scale to fit scale to fill Redraw, centre, top, bottom, middle. You get the idea. There's quite a few. I would recommend aspect scale to fit or fill. Whichever you prefer is your entire choice. These are all there as options for you to use. That's essentially... Ooh, that's essentially all of the settings when you're screen mirroring. The rest of the screen mirroring aspects come out of, let me turn the brightness up a bit, sorry. The rest of the screen mirroring settings, there's no actual question, there's no setting. There's no more settings, but the rest of the controls are just what application you've got open here. The only thing I will let note is I know Apple Music is blocked while screen recording. That's just how it is and some protected content won't work. I am working on that and I'm working on ways of integrating and solving some of these problems. Okay, let's turn that off. Go back here, turn it off. Let's turn that off. Then you've got options for web browser. So if you click on open web browser, this is just a web browser, click on Google. This loads up Google, you can log in, do all the usual stuff. So I'm gonna go to YouTube. We won't play a video, but we'll pretend. Here you go, here's the YouTube homepage. You could click on any video, say the WAN show. Like the WAN show, and then you could send it to car at the top. That puts that on there. Um, there you go. And you can't interact with that. Touch capabilities are disabled. So in order to interact with it, I've got to explain some of these other buttons. So you've got Google, sorry, Google, center car, and more options. In more options, you've got control buttons and reload. Reload allows you to put in an explicit URL. There's also the shared URL, but you might not have this accessible. And then there's control buttons. This pulls up a control sheet. These allow you to control all the aspects. So this turns on and off the mouse. Here's your mouse. You can move the mouse and click on with the mouse. I say click on with the mouse. 
Clearly the mouse is not working. Okay, that's a bug, I will fix that. You could do resize options, like make the view smaller, bigger, zoom in and out. All the stuff you wanna do. Move it along, move it up and down. Reload the view. You could save the current location settings for it to know about them. There you go. If you come out of that, this will go off. But then you could just press this load web in car. That just puts the page back on. Um, there are also access to the buttons this way. The other option you have is stream video file. This lets you pick a file from the files app that you would like to appear on here. Um, I don't know if I've got any files. I won't show you no files. But this just puts a file on there. To access the controls, you're gonna to have to use this control center widget that appears when there's something playing. So if I went back into the browser, click on here. Send the car, let me just mute that. There you go, that's playing that. And that pulls the controls here. Oh, it's gone away now because it stopped because I've got Apple Music open. Uh, when it's playing, you get this. Use your in-car controls, it communicates all that sort of stuff. Um, that's that. That's all the features in the app. The other options that I will briefly maybe explain is a shortcut. There's a shortcut where you can send a URL directly to the screen. So if I get this to say... Um, HTTPS colon slash slash google dot com when you play that it should load google I say that maybe that's a bit finicky Okay, clearly that doesn't work. Oh, clearly I've either uh, fucked that up. HTTPS, google.com. Sorry, it's a bit blurry for you. This whole trying to manage more than one phone is a bit of an issue. Let me try copying a URL. That caused the app to crash, apparently. Nope. Okay, I will look into that. There's clearly some issues. That clearly causes the app to crash. But I will solve that, and when this, when you see in this video, that'll be fixed. Um, you can also do the same by going to the share sheet. So if you go share on a YouTube video and you go more, it'll be an option in the share sheet. That also does not seem to work. Clearly these need to be tested. Testing some of these features is quite difficult. I might solve these by the time you see this. If I haven't, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you're enjoying the gap. Um, for anybody who hasn't downloaded it, I'd really recommend it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.